This is Dr. Dennis Lawrence, sports and regenerative medicine expert. Today we're going to talk a little bit about AVN. Avascular necrosis it goes by several names. Some people call it osteonecrosis, necrosis. Some people call it aseptic necrosis or bone infarction. Um, they all refer to the same thing. Avascular necrosis is where the blood supply becomes disrupted to the bone loss of blood flow causes the bone cells to die, hence avascular, loss of vascularity, necrosis, bone cell death. Uh, osteonecrosis, same thing, osteo refers to bone, necrosis is death. Um, there are many different reasons to have it. The most frequent thing is due to traumatic injury that disrupts it, the blood flow. Um, some famous sports stars have had it, Brett Favre, the great Bo Jackson, one tackle ended his professional football career. His hip dislocated when he hit the turf and popped back in the socket, but they didn't diagnose it right away. So he showed up at spring training for the Kansas City Royals. He was limping. Team doc took an x-ray and his hip had already crumbled at that point. So he ended up needing total hip replacement, rehabbed it, played one more season with the Royals in baseball, and never played football again. So it can be very devastating in athletes' careers. Um, we get patients from all over the world, and I've had, uh, especially in California, a lot of people from all over the world, Canada, um, even the North Pole have come to see me, a lot of teen athletes um, who are told that their sports career is gonna be over, so they turn to me for regenerative medicine answers and stem cells, and we've had very luck. Teenagers do very well because their bodies want to heal uh, and they also don't have arthritis and so they don't have other, other complications that some of the older patients have. So we're going to look real quickly at just what AVN looks like. So when you lose blood flow and it becomes necrotic or the bone cells die, this is a hip, a femoral head and it should be this white little space and you see this very blackened out lesion, this is an area of necrosis or avascular necrosis. Biggest problem with AVN is this necrotic area can collapse leading to a rapid joint destruction. And this is the reason that often they're told to get hip replacements. So we wanna catch this early and if we can treat it with, with stem cells and regenerative medicine, we can actually improve this. Uh, uh, the smaller the lesion, the better. Earlier you catch it, the better. The younger the patient, the better. And if they don't have a systemic illness, that also helps. Uh, so the traumas do better. Uh, hips are the most frequently involved joint. Again, trauma being the most frequent cause, then idiopathic or unknown causes. Uh, and then there are systemic illnesses. Hips can be bilateral, but trauma doesn't come bilateral. It's usually systemic illnesses like uh, autoimmune diseases, hydrosteroids, lupus, rheumatoid, chemotherapy, radiation. These can be bilateral. This is a radiograph with a, a modeled appearance of the head that's starting to get irregular shape, the femoral head, and uh, that's an appearance for avascular necrosis. It's not much, much more difficult to pick up uh, on an x-ray than it is an MRI. Often you see late changes. MRI is the gold standard to get early if you suspect it. The problem is, especially with trauma, things hurt, especially in football. People get tackled and they get helped off the field all the time and avascular necrosis is relatively rare compared to hip pointers and etc. So it's on a low index of suspicion when you get hurt that you have AVN. But something that doesn't heal in a timely period, you've got to consider that in the differential. Because I've seen just about every type of AVN and every joint and every associated risk factor from radiation therapy to uh, lipid storage diseases to um, lupus uh, um, um, and multiple sports traumatic injuries. I have a lot of experience with it in all kinds of joints. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit more in, in this about using regenerative therapy as a means of treating this. Thank you.